The 2021 Boilermaker Road Race is this Sunday, and it's the first in-person Boilermaker in more than two years. And even though the Boilermaker staff decided to actually reduce the number of runners allowed, they capped it for each race. The 15K at 12,000, the 5K at 4,000, and there's no wheelchair race, and there's no elite group either. That's still 16,000 people about to run through the city. And race staff say that they're ready to finally have those people back in Utica once again. At this stage of the game, we're, what are we, five or six days out? Um, you know, all the plans are laid. Um, it's just taking care of last minute things, um, really getting shirts and stuff into people's hands and putting out any last minute fires that come up. But at this point, at this point in time, the train has left the station and uh, we're having a race on Sunday, no matter if we're prepared or ill prepared. Peter says spectators are allowed and encouraged to line the streets and actually watch the races as usual. And racers actually had to prove that they were vaccinated for COVID-19 this year as part of the pandemic rules. They're actually the only ones that will be allowed at the post-race celebration this year too. The expo on Friday and Saturday will be held at the former Macy's location in New Hartford. So that will be going on. People can attend that. Uh, but as far as everything else goes, COVID-19 protocols in place. There is a, apparently a special surprise too, Peter says, for the Boilermaker uh, race after it finishes that they'll be announcing over the next few days. So stay tuned here and also at cnyhomepage.com where we'll have that and all your other top sports stories and tonight's games too. The Yankees are playing. We've got local soccer. We'll have more on those tonight.